Meantime, the Ezra Long Lab now is being supported by the Forensic Services Laboratory. Director Fernanda Henry says the Forensic Lab is using its available technologies to enhance the island's PCR testing capacity. We have to ensure that the, the kits that we're using are, are uh, up to standard, so we have to validate them. We have to get samples to be able to do that, just to basically, it's just building good quality assurance. It is to establish good quality assurance practice and procedure to ensure that the end result of our testing is of sound quality and can be relied upon consistently. We have purchased two new pieces of equipment. Um, the first one has, is, is should, going to be delivered, um, shipped, sorry, um, in short order. It's which upgrades our DNA machines. We, we have kind of a bottom of the rung um, machine at the moment, actually the first um, generation genetic analyzer, the machine that produces the DNA profile. We have a first generation one, um, but with, with, um, with the approvals, from the government we have purchased a, an upgrade to one that has four capillaries as opposed to one capillary so we can do four samples at any one time and further to that we recently received approval from from the minister of finance to purchase a, a machine that will allow us to do genetic sequencing so you know the sequencing that they talk about trying to sequence the the virus the covid 19 virus we will have that capability um, with this new piece of equipment that we will be getting shortly. 